Jason Rocker Recliner. Get comfortable, it's Rock With! Drums, check. Bass, check. Guitar, check. All clear for takeoff with the classic sounds of the Rock With Orchestra. Every rock and roll circus needs a ringmaster. So roll up, roll up, get down, down, deeper and down for your host, the one, the only, Julia Samira! Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to Rock Wiz. A true story, Paul Simon almost wrote a song about me, but he chickened out and he changed the title to Me and Julio down by the schoolyard. Thanks a lot, Paul. <laughs> Respect, please, for the man who, with a single stroke of his texture, breaks hearts and shatters fantasies. Purveyor of precise points, it's Brian Ankervis. <laughs> From the audience, they've come ready to fight for their right to shine tonight. Six dreamers, six ordinary kids, each with a crazy dream. Let's meet them now. smiling faces, but soon we'll be looking at four. Oh, yes. Two of you tonight must go so that four can stay. Brian and I will ask you some questions, answer correctly, and you go straight through to the show. It's exciting. Get it wrong, and you're gone. Daddy gone. Brian. Question one. Mm. Which Pearl Jam song begins as follows? Son, she said, have I got a little story for you, Serena? Alive? Alive is correct. <laughs> Serena, sit back, relax, you are through. Question two. Which song from 1989 featured an ambitious video clip filmed on board the battleship USS Missouri? Was and it Scher's, um... Oh, God, what is it? With the stockings and the spreading legs and stuff. Um... <laughs> Goes here. Turn back time. Oh, that's it. Turn back time, Rick. Yes, you're you absolutely correct. Yes, you are through. You may lean back. So close, Andy. Question three. Who released on January 8, 2013, his first single in 10 years? David Bowie. Is correct. Kate, lean back and relax. Kate is through. And lastly, for the final spot behind the buzzers. Which band had not one but two top ten songs in this year's Hottest 100? I'll give them to you. Feels like we only go backwards and Elephant. Uh, oh, my gosh. Tame Impala. You're absolutely right, Andy. Sit back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our quartet is complete, but please give Andy M and Mark a wonderful set of Mighty Quartet of Rock Wizards! Give them a round of applause. <laughs> and hello to you, Rick. Hello, Julia. How are you? I'm um, very well, thank you. You look terrific tonight. Yeah, well, I think so, yeah. Great. <laughs> now, Rick, what was the first concert you ever went to? ACDC, Ringwood Ice Skating Rink, and it was uh, $2 including skates. while they're playing, could you? Yeah, you know, you could in those days. You could in those yeah. days. They were well, just we sort of like... went out onto the ice and... And mucked around. Pretty much. Oh, fantastic. Were you a figure skater, Rick, uh... in those days? <laughs> Rick, welcome. Thank you. Hello, Serena. Hello, Julia. How are you? I'm wonderful. What about you? What was your first concert? Uh, Pearl Jam, 1994. Oh, at, 1994. Uh... Mm -hmm. um, was it in their still crazy times? Swigging and more madness in the mosh? 
Absolutely. Was it yeah. great? Where yeah. were you? Frightened, were you? Uh, um, overwhelmed, but overwhelmed. pleasantly overwhelmed, yes. Welcome to you, Serena. Thanks, Julia. Hello, Kate. Hi. How's it going? I'm good, thank you. First concert? Um, 1984, um, um, Melbourne Showgrounds, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. Oh! I, I was only 13. You're only 13. And I took a bus all the way from Corro in New South Wales to Melbourne. That with my friend Danielle Griffin. Hello, Danielle. That's commitment, Kate. Mm -hmm. Oh, how marvellous. Mm. And hello, Andy. Hello, Julia. How are you? I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> you might be less excited when you tell us your first concert. What was oh, it? Oh, no way. It was the same year as Serena, 94. I was on my daddy's shoulders and it was one of the Wiggles' first concerts. <laughs> I mean, I like them young, I'm not saying. Um, how old would you be, do you think? Now? No, yes, now. <laughs> 23. 23. So what was your first rock concert, though? So you've seen the Wiggles on your dad's shoulders, but if, what was your first concert? My brother took me to the 2003 Big Day Out. Oh, fantastic. And it finished with us uh, standing on a set of bins, mo mooning the rest of the crowd. <laughs> oh, I've just liked you a little less there, but anyway. Uh, beautiful, terrific. Ladies and gentlemen, your punters for tonight. <laughs> You know, really, we could talk all night, but that ain't getting us nowhere. Ban, distract us from that confusing double negative. <laughs> Who can it be now? I'm a soul singer and songwriter originally from Melbourne. I studied at the Victorian College of the Arts and then toured for several years as backing vocalist for Blue King Brown. You may recognise my voice from my collaboration with rapper Pez on the 2008 hit The Festival Song, number seven in Triple J's Hottest 100 that year. Yes, Andy. Uh, Hayley Kramer. Ladies and gentlemen, please make her very welcome, the gorgeous Hayley Kramer. Like a grain of rice sitting in my heart and made your demands the leash was tied like a choker chain gave you my arm but it's all in vain must i get burnt to know it hurts no no must i get burnt to know it hurts i held you up after i stood for my fall my knees were cut while you used to tell my shoulders hurt from the weight of your wealth can win me back with your diamonds and pearls must i get burned to know it hurts no no must i get burned to know it hurts so come down come down from yours way up high put a coin in the bowl and shake it all about he's a so let me bend your ear What you get from that bowl Is just what you put in Calm down I'm off to the greener grass It's where I can And put me on stone You know, I took a chance Back then it was all romance Till your mouth came off And I got a glance Oh, I don't want my baby To be like you, you, you So come down, come down From your horse, way up high Put a coin in a bowl And shake it all about He's a lesson from my father So let me be
since you're over there. And Zoe and Louisa on backing vocals. Please thank their excellent work. Good. Hello, Hayley. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Fantastic. Hayley, yes, look, you had an extraordinary uh, lovely time with the festival song. Lovely rapping underneath it or kind of talking and you doing the thing. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here, I'm going to try and do it. Okay. <clears throat> Summer days. Summer days. Summer days. Summer days. I love summer days. I love summer days. I love summer days. Thank you. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. A little fantasy fulfilled for me. Appreciate it. Now, you've done backing vocals for your Marsha Heinzes and your Vanessa Ramorosis. Now you're out the front. How does that feel? It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I do like it. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Do you have to go back behind and do backing vocals and come back out the front? Do you find it easy <laughs> to swap and change? Just you just, you're out the front now, that's it. Oh, no, I, do, I still do some BBs for people and mm. it's fun. Like, it's, I totally enjoy being on stage and just singing in general. Michael Franti, one of my favourites. What was he like to work with? He's lovely. He's really lovely. He seems so, lovely. Yeah, it was actually when I first sang with him, I was, we'd just done, I was with Blue King Brown and we did the opening um, gig and then I was like cool I can have a shower because we were touring in a bus and so I was like shower time great so I went upstairs and it was like in the shower you know he was playing and then I get like this knock on the door going Hayley Michael's asking you to go on stage what and so like I literally had a hand towel because I couldn't find the towels so I'm just like hand toweling my hair dripping with water and jumped out on stage and did a song with him, like, soaking wet. He was just like, what's going on? <laughs> you right? <laughs> He's so touchy-feely. I don't think he care. You know, being like, oh, she's so natural. Look at her. That's great. <laughs> she's just stepped out of the shower. How marvellous. Yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> now, uh, what was the first concert you ever went to, Hayley? Um, Michael Jackson. Oh. Yeah, but I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I was in primary school and we had sports day and so it was really Is tiring. Is it possible to fall asleep in a very loud Michael Jackson concert? I'm, I'm pretty good at sleeping anywhere. Wow. Really, yeah. That's a gift. OK. Yeah. And what about the first <laughs> bit of music you ever bought with your own money? Um, Natalie Cole. True. Unforgettable, yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your first team for tonight. And Hayley's up the front. Please oh. make a welcome. <laughs> And well done to you, Andy. Excellent. Ten points to your team for quick thinking. OK, to paraphrase George Orwell, one special guest good, two special guests better. Who can it be now? I'm a songwriter, guitarist and vocalist born in Bells Hill, Glasgow. Early groups include The Boy Hairdressers, Finding Faust and BMX Bandits. Norman Blake. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Scotland's Teenage Fan Club, the fabulous Norman Blake. Can I 
designed you And baby Lee, I'm always watching from a distance Oh, marry, marry me, oh baby, now I am insisting Really good, thanks. Yeah. Great. Now, can I just say, great band, uh, Teenage Fan Club. Yeah. But you've been in so many bands with interesting names, haven't you? Um, yeah, well, yeah, I guess The Boy Hairdressers was boy one. Hairdressers. That was named after a, a play by the English um, uh, writer Joe Orton. Jo oh, well, yeah. he's full of <laughs> sex and violence. Well, he is, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. I like, uh, I, like a, I like a bit of that. A little bit of that. Um, um, and Finding Faust, that's yeah, a good one. I can't remember where that one came no. from. I was just a kind of peripheral member of that band. BMX Bandits, you know that's a famous I, uh, Australian yeah, film. It was yeah, named, the, the guy who named the band uh, uh, couldn't, he couldn't ride a BMX, or he couldn't ride any bicycle. It was, uh, and so he thought, I don't know, for some reason he thought that would be a good name for his band. Wow. Now, look, uh, ten albums, uh, bandwagon S Grand Prix, big albums. Now, you've played with De La Soul, Edwin yeah. Collins, and you toured with Nirvana. What was that like? It was great. Um, we um, toured with Nirvana uh, on the Nevermind tour, the European section of that. It was really exciting, just when the record was really taking off. Um, so it must have been just before it went insane then. It was sort of still it, it at was that starting, discovery stage? Yeah, it was right? starting to happen for them. You know, we played uh, in some big arenas towards the end of the tour. And I think they were, they were pretty overwhelmed by the whole thing. But yeah. it was exciting to watch a phenomenon, you know, and kind of be, uh, again, a peripheral part of that. Yeah, absolutely. It's the second time I've used the word peripheral. And that's what I like about the Scots, because they're a little bit excited about using several syllables in one word. <laughs> 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 now, look, I would love to know the first concert you ever went to as a young man, Norman. So it was, uh, it was in, uh, I was born in 1965, but the concert was 1966, and it was the Kinks. No. Uh, in Blackpool, I was at, I can't remember it, of course. You were one. I was at, I think it was on my dad's shoulders. <gasps> Kinks and Tom Jones. And Tom Jones. Yeah. Gee, what a crazy double. Yeah. Um, that's great. But but as a you know, cognitive human being though, yeah. next next concert, say when you're twelve or whatever, what would that have been? Well, I think it uh, well, actually, because I know that you're going to ask me about a record. I am. It's, this is related. It's exciting. Because the, the next concert I saw was a band called The Wombles. Do you know The Wombles? The Wombles! Yes! Yeah, so they did a little tour after the, the Wombling Songs album. Uh, you know, just around the UK. And I saw them in Coatbridge YMCA with Mike Batt. So, what was your first album? Wombling Songs by The Wombles. <laughs> local and or general time for our teens to step up to the plate but please don't break it this is rock quiz not a greek wedding <laughs> with which bands do we associate these following artists daniel johns <laughs> yes serena silverchair correct lauren hill <laughs> yes fuji fuji is correct hayley thank you for playing nico the Velvet mm. Underground. I'll give it to you, Norman. Andre 3000. Yes. Outcast. Young person, correct. Gene Clark. Uh, the Birds. Correct, Norman, thank you. Who did George Harrison refer to as the godfather of world music? Oh. Yes, Andy. Ravi Shankar. Welcome to the show, Andy. Very nice. Very good. 
Who is the father of Nora Jones? Yes. Ravi Shankar. Very good, Rick. Looking, listening, learning. Paying right. attention. Paying attention. That's right. Did you pay attention in school much, Rick, I'm wondering? No, I was challenged. Were you? <laughs> and look, you look down that camera and tell them, and look at me now, I'm on Rock Quiz. Hey. Yay. Says it all. <laughs> Where was Ravi Shankar when he famously remarked, if you like our tuning so much, I hope you'll enjoy Madison playing. Square Garden. Madison Square Gardens. What for? It was for the concert of ba uh, Bangladesh. Yes, Bang working as a team. Excellent. Yes. Who played sitar on the Rolling Stones song, Paint It Black? Brian yes. Jones. Jesus, you're some kind of genius. Not I, look I, at him go. I, I like the sitar. You do, the, do you? <laughs> Well, I do, well, yeah, I can't can play, play one, but I would I'd certainly give it a go. Would you? Do you have one? No. no you don't know, OK. <laughs> but, oh, what a shame we don't. No. Who covered George Harrison's song, Something, and referred to it as his favourite... Frank Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> He's absolutely right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, listen, I do... I, I tend... I, I do tend to peak fairly early. Do you? So, yeah, just... <laughs> thrown out of a Beatles concert in Melbourne for being too exuberant. Molly Meldrum? Is correct, Rick. <laughs> After counting 23 faked orgasms, the British Broadcasting Corporation banned which song by Donna Summer? I love to love you, baby. That's the one. Good girl. And, uh, Hayley, you'll be happy to know that was a bonus 15-point question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love to love you, baby. It's a 16-minute track. That would make it about averaging two orgasms a minute, I should imagine. <laughs> Apparently, she did go into the studio, had the lights turned down, lay on the floor and imagined she was an, a, a starlet like Marilyn Monroe and writhed around. Yes, Rick? I married her sister. <laughs> well, she acts like that. She acts like right. that, does she? <laughs> mm. Oh, She'll be thrilled that went out tonight on the television. Uh, not a, I'm kidding, I didn't think I did, shouldn't have said that. Yeah. <laughs> Which Melbourne girl said gay icons usually have some tragedy in their lives? I've only had tragic haircuts and outfits. <laughs> yes. Was it Kylie? It Minogue? was Kylie Serena. Well played. <laughs> Table four will be happy. All your posse, they'll be thrilled. Uh, yes, I mean, of course she had tragedy in her life. She, uh, of course, went out with Jason Donovan and that was hideous. <laughs> Who is known as the first lady of Neo Soul? Mm. Erica Badu. Oh, look, is he the dark horse on this team? Ladies and gentlemen, yes! Oh. True or false? Norman Blake sang You Are My Sunshine on the Oh Brother Where Art Thou soundtrack. Yes. It's true. Yeah. It is true. Yeah, but it wasn't me, it's the other Norman Blake. Correct. <laughs> So there's another one. Yeah. He's 70, and yeah. you really don't look 70. You look Get, great. Getting there, though. Getting, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Ages, yes. Oh, thank you. Ages. Which member of the Smiths tried out for Manchester City Football Club? <laughs> yes. Johnny Ma. Johnny Ma's correct. You just got some more points for your team. Excellent. Johnny reckoned he was good enough for City, but they didn't uh, follow up on it, unfortunately. He said, I was probably the only player wearing eyeliner. Which is probably true. <laughs> Sing the next line, or the whole verse, indeed, if you can. Ooh, I need your love, babe. Guess you know it's true. Next. If you need... Oh, I, I, I hope you need my love, babe. Just, Just like, like I, I need you. Great, right, what's next? Hold, hold me, love me, me and hold, hold me, me, love me. me. I ain't got nothing but love, babe.
dollar riff, or as it's known in Japan, 88 million yen super music fun explosion. <laughs> Teams, get ready to ID these riffs. Riff <laughs> number one. Um, Peter Gabriel Sledgehammer. Well done, Mrs. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> Riff number two. Yes. That's the way I like it. Uh huh, uh huh. By Casey and the Sunshine <gasps> Band. Four points to you, my friend. Number three. Andy, there is a confidence in your buzzing I find extremely attractive. <laughs> what do you think it might be? I think after Norman's story, that was uh, Victoria by The Kinks. I love you with every part of my being. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> Riff numéro quatre. Clue, yes. Oh, oh, I can't remember the song. Is it Nene Cherry? It is Nene oh. Cherry. Excellent. And yeah. the song is, I don't know. Yeah, I know. Oh. There was so many. And they Could all... go to the other side. What sort of stance? Buffalo. Buffalo, fantastic. Excellent. Bye, was... Beach. Bob Dylan sang, I used to care, but things have changed. I still care. Have the scores changed? Dougal. Let's go. because this segment is called Whole Lot of Facts. Time for our guests to split from their teams and launch brief solo careers. Their task, to talk for around a minute on a topic of their choice. Brian will halt their monologue with his patented monologue halter. <laughs> and award points as he sees fit. Our first Whole Lot of Facts is Hayley. And Hayley, your topic is the number one hits of Whitney Houston. <laughs> Are you ready, my darling? Yes. Great. Your time starts now. All right. Well, I'm going to try and do a little snippet of her 11 hits uh, that became number one in the Billboard charts. All right. Number one. Um, Didn't we almost have it all? Number two. Uh, he's all I got. He's all I got in this world. Number three, where do broken hearts go? Number four, um, I'm your baby tonight. Number five, let me see. So emotional, baby. Number six, let me see. I want to dance with somebody. Woo! Number six. Seven, um, A, C, D, E, oh, shoo, be, do, waiting to exhale, um, that, anyway, that one. <laughs> Number eight, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, uh, the greatest love of all is happening to me. Number nine, how will I know if he really loves me? Oh. And number ten, um, I'll always love you. And then number 11, cause I'm saving all my love for you. Yeah. You are divine. <laughs> oh. That was stunning. Now, Hayley, you're obviously 
big fan. Uh, a little bit. A yeah. little <laughs> bit of a fan. So were you one of those kids that, well, I mean, I would have been singing it to a hairbrush because I can't sing. But you would have been going, I can do this. <laughs> I, were I you? was trying. I was trying to do it. I mean, she's ridiculously amazing. She was ridiculously so amazing. So I tried. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Hayley doing well on a whole lot of facts. <laughs> Thank you. Norman. Oh dear. Well, we can just move on to the next. No, not segment. at all. Not at all. Because some people sing and some people talk. It's it's open. We hopefully one day someone will mime. Who knows? Um, Norman, we're delighted with your topic. If I could just share it with everybody, Norman's topic tonight is band names related to the phallus or phallus-related activities. Yeah. Wow, there's a whole <laughs> yeah. PhD in that. So, Norman, your time starts now. OK, I was uh, lying in the hotel, uh, lying naked in my hotel room. Maybe you don't need this information. A couple of nights ago, thinking what I was going to talk about, and suddenly I had the idea that there were lots of bands that are named after the willy, as we call it in Scotland, or... Anyway, um, so I'm going to start with an Australian one, the Hard Ones. Of course. Look at them. <laughs> Uh, and then we have the British punk rock ones, the Sex Pistols, uh, the Buzzcocks, the Members, and, um, <laughs> the Vibrators. Related to that one, we have Steely Dan, because they, they were named after a mechanical dildo, in, uh, which was uh, uh, someone, I think, well, was used in the uh, Naked Lunch, the William Burroughs novel. Uh, strokes. <laughs> of them. Uh, my friends, the Vaselines. You could have them too, couldn't you? Um, and then, I, I'm hoping you're going to do this soon because the, the next one I thought of was the Circle Jerks, which... Oh, we love the Circle Jerks! Oh! But it's true, but the, the Vaselines, is that... They could all work together, the Strokes, the Vaselines, could, the uh, Circle uh, Jerks. It'd be a really good night. Wow, they could do a whole <laughs> fabulous tour. Um, uh, sponsored by KY or something. Now, it's interesting because your band, Teenage Fan Club, are you referred to as the Fannies? Oh, we are. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. You could, uh, there's a role like the... Female. You could the, go... The slits. Female, the slits. Oh, we could be here all night. Stop it now, Norman. Stop it now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for Norman. Beautiful work. Thank you. Thing. Look, scores, uh, both absolutely fabulous. Norman, I think it was probably the Circle Jerks that took 10 Aww. off. I gave you 20, but uh, to Hayley, full marks, 30 points. 30 points. Now time for 33 and the third seconds to shine. Well, we put the band back together. Teams, you're together again. Three heads are better than one for these questions, but no buzzers required. Just strong voices, a willingness to shine, and you can say pass if you don't know an answer. So it's a fast round, OK? Are you ready? We will start with Haley's team. Use your own microphones, but imagine you're all using one microphone in a funny sense of some kind of team camaraderie. <laughs> Who sang these songs? I Will Always Love You. Whitney. Whitney. Correct. Smooth Criminal. Michael Jackson. Correct. Hi, Honey Ho. Pass. Who is the singer of Blue King Brown? Natalie Papa. Complete the band name of Monsters and... Men. Correct. The Neville... Brothers. Correct. Twisted... Sister. Correct. Mumford and... Sons. Correct. Where is the Annandale Hotel? Sydney. Correct. <laughs> Round of applause! Well played! <laughs> Good. Well done, everybody. I think that's up to your team numbers. Working as a team. Norman's mob, yeah. as I like to call you. Here we go. Are you ready? Think so. Who said, I hate the music? John Paul Young. Correct. Who said, excuse me while I kiss the sky? Jimi, Jimi Hendrix. Hendrix. Which bands have these drummers? Charlie Watts. Stones, Stones. Rolling Stones. Francis McDonald. Uh, teenage Fan Club. Well done. Complete the song titles. Gold on the... Ceiling. Correct. Mm. Hang on. <laughs> Bachelor. Kisses. Correct. Suspicious. Mines. Eight Miles. High. What colour was Nick Drake's moon? Pink. Mm. Who is the B in BTO? Batman. Batman. Correct. <laughs> that was a little bit exciting. 
Well, guys, that was shinier than a pair of barter scouts on the first day of school. Dougal, chippity chop for scores! <laughs> The Middle Eight Bridges, two bits of song. On Rock Quiz, The Middle Eight Bridges, what's gone before with what is to come. Hmm. Coming now, eight quick questions, hands back on buzzers. Here we go. In Billy Joel's Piano Man, what happens at nine o'clock on a Saturday? Yes. The regular crowd shuffles in. I will give it here, the regular crowd shuffle. You're very excited, Hayley, well yeah. done. And what is the old man making love to? He's tonic and gin. Correct. What does the piano sound like? Can a carnival. A carnival is correct. Isn't it poetic, Billy Joel, when he wants to be? And what does the microphone smell like? A beer. Geez, you know this song back to front, don't you, Serena? <laughs> True or false? The late Davy Jones from the Monkees dropped out of school to begin a career as a jockey. True. True is correct. Who sang Peace of My Heart with Big Brother and The Holding Company? Janice Joplin. Correct, Norman. Whose stage name is Teeth and Tongue? Yes. Jess. Cornelius. Is correct. Who is sometimes known as Joey Vincent or the Maltese Falcon? Joe Camilleri. Joe Camilleri is correct. Oh, is this voodoo? <laughs> Simply by uttering their names, they appear. Please welcome to perform a favourite duet from our Some Kind of Genius tour, Jess Cornelius and Joe Camilleri. <laughs>
a couple of transvestite miners, our teams are digging in their heels. <laughs> Thank you. Orchestra, hit it! <laughs> Hands on buzzers, or if you prefer to look a little silly, on your nose. The questions begin... Now. Name the bands who released these debut albums. Appetite for Destruction. Guns N' Roses. Correct, Norman. Thank you. Licence to Ill. Yes. The Beastie Boys. Correct, my darling. Which Neil Young song does the band name Powderfinger come from? Uh, uh, Powderfinger. Oh, Jesus, yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, where were you? I've just got his autobiography and I haven't got to that bit yet. <laughs> Which band takes its name from a British unemployment benefit form? UB40. Correct. Signed many of those myself back in the day. <laughs> did you really? No, I did, yeah. Wow. That's, why, that's why I know that one. That's all, yeah. yeah. Good on you in a hard time. Oh, yeah. I know. Which band took their name from a book by Aldous Huxley? Mm. The Doors. Correct. You're a literary freak as well. The Doors. Yeah, The Doors of Perception was the book, yeah. correct. Which of the following are not death metal bands? Vomitorial corpulence, <laughs> carcass, suffocation, One Direction. Yes. Yeah. I'm on it this time, One Direction. One Direction. Genius right there. <laughs> what did uh, Camper Van Beethoven suggest you do with the skinheads? Take them bowling. Take them bowling is quick. What a great idea. Yeah. Bow. Which sport was referred to in Dread Rock Holiday? Yes. Cricket. Of course it was, Andy, correct. Who was standing in the dock at Southampton trying to get to Holland or France? John Lennon and Yoko Ono were. They were? Yeah, correct. they were. Yeah. Together, do you think? I think they were, mm. yeah. Inspired by Alanis Morissette, point out the real irony in these instances. Are you ready? <laughs> it's exciting. The drummer of ZZ Top, Frank Beard. Where's the irony? They've got beards. No, irony. No, he, he's, he, yeah, he's the one that doesn't have a beard. Thank you, Norman. Very good. You see? Great. You see where we're going there, Rick? Great. I told you I struggled at school. Oh, no. Where's the irony in this? The Barry Manilow hit, I Write the Songs. <laughs> he didn't write it. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I give you a Wanting to touch. Paying attention. I love that in a student. <laughs> For they are all my students. And I am the lovely teacher. <laughs> Where's this going, Andy? <laughs> oh, come on. He may as well be in year nine. Now, come on. <laughs> Not a dirty old woman, am I? Um... To stir with love. Anyway, I mean, appropriate. Lulu. Lulu. Lulu, correct. Not a question, just a bit of comedy that didn't work, oh, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the irony in this bit? Justin Bieber's song, Never Say Never. Mm. He did say never. Lots of times, absolutely <laughs> right, Serena. Oh, put that to bed, Alanis. <laughs> Stone Age or Teenage? Question mark. Who to Guru's album? Stone Age. Correct, my darling. The Who's Baba O'Reilly? Teenage. Correct. Queens of the... Stone Age. I'll give it to you, Andy. Correct. Oh, the Flintstones. Stone Age. Correct. <laughs> the Undertones, Teenage. Kicks. Correct. Weedus' Teenage. Dead bank. Three, Absolutely two, right, Andy. One. There's only one hyphenated word for it. Wow. E. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Rock quizzes, thanks for your superlative work. Rest now upon your laurels while Dougal reveals the final score. Congratulations to Norman's team. Well done, all of you, and well done to you at home. You have excellent taste. For more Rock Quiz, find us on Facebook, Flickr, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Hologram. Or, if you're stuck in the 20th century like I am, the Rock Quiz website. We leave you with a quote from Axel Rose of Guns N' Roses, who once said, I'm not God, but if I were God, three quarters of you would be girls and the rest of you would be pizza and beer. <laughs> Classy. To take us out tonight, Hayley, Norman and the Bull Sisters are performing a West Indies folk song recorded and modified by the Kingston Trio and Johnny Catch, but most famously by the Beach Boys. And remember, if you can say, it's a broad brick moonlit nick to nick, you're right, you can. Good night.
Um, <laughs> Absolutely. Was it yeah. great? Where yeah. were you? Frightened, were you? Uh, um, overwhelmed, but overwhelmed. pleasantly overwhelmed, yes. Welcome to you, Serena. Thanks, Julia. Hello, Kate. Hi. How's it going? I'm good, thank you. First concert? Um, 1984, um, um, Melbourne Showgrounds, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. Oh. I, I was only 13. You were only 13. And I took a bus all the way from Corro in New South Wales to Melbourne. That with my is... friend Danielle Griffin. Hello, Danielle. That's commitment, Kate. Mm -hmm. Oh, how marvellous. Mm. And hello, Andy. Hello, Julia. How are you? I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> you might be less excited when you tell us your first concert. What was oh, it? Oh, no way. It was the same year as Serena, 94. I was on my daddy's shoulders and it was one of the Wiggles' first concerts. <laughs> I mean, I like them young, I'm not saying. Um, how old would you be, do you think? Now? No, yes, now. <laughs> 23. 23. So what was your first rock concert, though? So you've seen the Wiggles on your dad's shoulders, but if, what was your first concert? My brother took me to the 2003 Big Day Out. Oh, fantastic. And it finished with us uh, standing on a set of bins, mo mooning the rest of the crowd. <laughs> oh, I've just liked you a little less there, but anyway. Uh, beautiful, terrific. Ladies and gentlemen, your punters for tonight. <laughs> You know, really, we could talk all night, but that ain't getting us nowhere. Ban, distract us from that confusing double negative. <laughs> Who can it be now? I'm a soul singer and songwriter originally from Melbourne. I studied at the Victorian College of the Arts and then toured for several years as backing vocalist for Blue King Brown. You may recognise my voice from my collaboration with rapper Pez on the 2008 hit The Festival Song, number seven in Triple J's Hottest 100 that year. Yes, Andy. Uh, Hayley Kramer. Ladies and gentlemen, please make her very welcome, the gorgeous Hayley Kramer. Like a grain of rice sitting in my heart and made your demands the leash was tied like a choker chain gave you my arm but it's all in vain must i get burnt to know it hurt from a british unemployment benefit form ub40 correct signed many of those myself back in the day <laughs> did you really no, i did yeah that's wow. why that's why i know that one that's all yeah. yeah good on you in a hard time oh yeah i know which band took their name from a book by aldous huxley mm. the doors Correct. You're literary freak as well. The Doors. Yeah, The Doors of Perception was the book. Yep. Correct. Which of the following are not death metal bands? Vomitorial Corpulence. <laughs> carcass. Suffocation. One Direction. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on it this time. One Direction. One Direction. Genius right there. <laughs> What did uh, Camper Van Beethoven suggest you do with the skinheads? Take them bowling. Take them bowling is quick. What a great idea. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Which sport was referred to in Dreadlock Holiday? Yes. Cricket. Of course it was, Andy, correct. Who was standing in the dock at Southampton trying to get to Holland or France? John Lennon and Yoko Ono were. They were? Yeah, correct. they were. Yeah. Together, do you think? I think they were. Mm. Yeah. Inspired by Alanis Morissette, point out the real irony in these instances. Are you ready? <laughs> it's exciting. The drummer of ZZ Top, Frank Beard. Where's the irony? They've got beards. No, irony. No, he, he's, he, yeah, he's the one that doesn't have a beard. Thank you, Norman. Very good. You see? Great. 
You see where we're going there, Rick? Right. I told you I struggled at school. Oh, no. Where's the irony in this? The Barry Manilow hit, I Write the Songs. <laughs> he didn't write it. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Rick! Wanting to touch. Paying attention. I love that in a student. <laughs> For they are all my students. And I am the lovely teacher. <laughs> Where's this going, Andy? <laughs> Not a dirty old woman, <laughs> am I? Um, to serve with love. Anyway, I mean, appropriate. Lu Lulu. Lulu, correct. Not a question, just a bit of comedy that didn't work, okay. clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the irony in this bit? Justin Bieber's song, Never Say Never. Mm. He did say never? Lots of times, absolutely <laughs> right, Serena. Oh, put that to bed, Alanis. <laughs> Stone Age or Teenage? Question mark. Who do Guru's album? Stone Age. Correct, my darling. The who? The next line, or the whole verse, indeed, if you can. Ooh, I need your love, babe. Guess you know it's true. Next. If you need, oh, I, I, I hope you need my love, babe. Just, Just like, like I need you. Great, what's so next? Hold, hold me, love me, me and hold, hold me, me, love me. me. I ain't got nothing but love, babe. Eight, Eight days, days a week. Plenty of points <laughs> on offer early, but who's grabbed the lion's share? Dougal, absolutely right. Riff, or as it's known in Japan, 88 million yen super music fun explosion. <laughs> Teams, get ready to ID these riffs. Riff <laughs> number one. Um, Peter Gabriel, Sledgehammer. Well done, Mrs. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Riff number two. Yes. That's the way I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. By Casey and the Sunshine oh. Band. Four points to you, my friend. Number three. Andy, there is a confidence in your buzzing I find extremely attractive. <laughs> what do you think it might be? I think after Norman's story, that was uh, Victoria by The Kinks. I love you with every part of my being. You are absolutely correct. You may as well be in year nine. Now, come on. <laughs> Not a dirty old woman, am I? Um, to serve with love. Anyway, I mean, appropriate. Lu Lulu. Lulu, correct. Not a question, just a bit of comedy that didn't work, okay. clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the irony in this bit? Justin Bieber's song, Never Say Never. Mm. He did say never? Lots of times, absolutely <laughs> right, Serena. Oh, put that to bed, Alanis. 
Stone Age or Teenage? Question mark. Who do Guru's album? Stone Age. Correct, my darling. The Who's Baba O'Reilly? Teenage. Correct. Queens of the... Stone Age. I'll give it to you, Andy. Correct. Oh, the Flintstones. Stone Age. Correct. <laughs> the Undertones, Teenage. Kicks. Correct. Weedus's Teenage. Dead bank. Three, Absolutely two, right, Andy. One. There's only one hyphenated word for it. Wow. E. <laughs> Rock Wizards, thanks for your superlative work. Rest now upon your laurels while Dougal reveals the final score. to Norman's team. Well done, all of you, and well done to you at home. You have excellent taste. For more Rock Quiz, find us on Facebook, Flickr, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram and Hologram. Or, if you're stuck in the 20th century like I am, the Rock Quiz website. We leave you with a quote from Axel Rose of Guns N' Roses, who once said, I'm not God, but if I were God, three quarters of you would be girls and the rest of you would be pizza and beer. <laughs> Classy. To take us out tonight, Hayley, Norman and the Bull Sisters are performing a West Indies folk song recorded and modified by the Kingston Trio and Johnny Catch, but most famously by the Beach Boys. And remember, if you can say, it's a broad brick moonlit nick to nick, you're right, you can. Good night. Choker chain gave you my arm, but it's all in vain. Must I get burned to know it hurts? No, no. Must I get burned to know it hurts? I held you up after I stood for my fall. My knees were cut while you used to tell. My shoulders hurt from the weight of your wealth. Can't win me back with your diamonds and pearls. Must I get burned to know? It's where I came from To you swept me off my feet and put me on stone You know, I took a chance Back then it was all romance To your mouth came off and I got a glance Oh, I don't want my baby to be like you, you, you So come down, come down from your horse Way up high, put a coin in the bowl And shake it up He's a lesson from my father, so let me bend your ear. What you get from that bowl is just what you put in. Calm down, no, 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 no,
Hi. How are you? I'm good. Fantastic. Hayley, yes, look, you had an extraordinary uh, lovely time with the festival. So you tonight must go so that four can stay. Brian and I will ask you some questions, answer correctly, and you go straight through to the show. It's exciting. Get it wrong and you're gone, daddy gone. Brian. Question one. Mm. Which Pearl Jam song begins as follows? Son, she said, have I got a little story for you, Serena? Alive? Alive is correct. <laughs> Serena, sit back, relax, you are through. Question two. Which song from 1989 featured an ambitious video clip filmed on board the battleship USS Missouri? Was Andy. it Scher's, um, oh God, what is it? With the stockings and the spreading legs and stuff. Um, Goes here. Turn back time. Oh, that's it. Turn back time, Rick. Yes, you're you absolutely correct. Yes, you are through. You may lean back. So close, Andy. Question three. Who released on January 8, 2013, his first single in 10 years? David Bowie. Is correct. Hey, lean back and relax. Kate is true. And lastly, for the final spot behind the buzzers, which band had not one but two top ten songs in this year's Hottest 100? I'll give them to you. Feels like we only go backwards and elephant. Uh, oh, my gosh. Tame Impala. You're absolutely right, Andy. Sit back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our quartet is complete, but please give Andy M and Mark a wonderful set of Mighty Quartet of Rock Wizards. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> and hello to you, Rick. Hello, Julia. How are you? I'm um, very well, thank you. You look terrific tonight. Yeah, well, I think so, yeah. Great. <laughs> now, Rick, what was the first concert you ever went to? ACDC, Ringwood Ice Skating Rink. And it was uh, $2, including skates. while they're playing, could you? Yeah, you know, you could in those days. You could in those yeah. days. They were just well, we sort of, like, of went out onto the ice and... And mucked around. Pretty much. Oh, fantastic. Were you a figure skater, Rick, uh... in those days? <laughs> Rick, welcome. Thank you. Hello, Serena. Hello, Julia. How are you? I'm wonderful. What about you? What was your first concert? Uh, Pearl Jam, 1994. Oh, at, 1994. Uh... Mm -hmm. First sang with him, I was... We'd just done... I was with Blue King Brown and we did the opening um, gig and then I was like cool I can have a shower because we were touring in a bus and so I was like shower time great so I went upstairs and it was like in the shower you know he was playing and then I get like this knock on the door going hey Lee Michael's asking you to go on stage what and so like I literally had a hand towel because I couldn't find the towels so I'm just like hand toweling my hair dripping with water and jumped out on stage and did a song with him, like, soaking wet. He was just like, what's going on? <laughs> you are right? <laughs> He's so touchy-feely, I don't think he care. You know, be going, oh, she's so natural. Look at her, that's great. <laughs> she's just stepped out of the shower. How marvellous. Yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> now, uh, what was the first concert you ever went to, Hayley? Um, Michael Jackson. Oh. Yeah, but I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I was in primary school and we had sports day and so it was really Is tiring. Is it possible to fall asleep in a very loud Michael Jackson concert? I'm, I'm pretty good at sleeping anywhere. Wow. Really, yeah. That's a gift. OK. Yeah. And what about the first bit of music you ever bought with your own money? Um, Natalie Cole. True. Unforgettable, yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your first team for tonight. And Hayley's up the front. Please make her welcome. <laughs> And well done to you, Andy. Excellent. Ten points to your team for quick thinking. OK, to paraphrase George Orwell, one special guest good, two special guests better. Who can it be now? I'm a songwriter, guitarist and vocalist born in Bells Hill, Glasgow. Early groups include The Boy Hairdressers, Finding Faust and BMX Bandits. Norman Blake. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome... 
welcome from Scotland's Teenage Fan Club, the fabulous Norman Blake. for the final spot behind the buzzers. Which band had not one but two top ten songs in this year's Hottest 100? I'll give them to you. Feels like we only go backwards and elephant. Uh, oh, my gosh. Tame Impala. You're absolutely right, Andy. Sit back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our quartet is complete, but please give Andy M and Mark a wonderful send <laughs> Mighty Quartet of Rock Wizards. Give them a round of applause. And hello to you, Rick. Hello, Julia. How are you? I'm um, very well, thank you. You look terrific tonight. Yeah, I, I think so, yeah. Great. <laughs> now, Rick, what was the first concert you ever went to? ACDC, Ringwood Ice Skating Rink. And it was uh, $2, including skates. while they're playing, could you? Yeah, you know, you could in those days. You could in those yeah. days. They were well, just we sort of like went out onto the ice and... And mucked around. Pretty much. Oh, fantastic. Were you a figure skater, Rick, uh... in those days? <laughs> Rick, welcome. Thank you. Hello, Serena. Hello, Julia. How are you? I'm wonderful. What about you? What was your first concert? Uh, Pearl Jam, 1994. Oh, 1994. Uh... Mm -hmm. um, was it in their still crazy times? Swigging and more madness in the mosh? Absolutely. Was it? Yeah. Great. Where yeah. were you? Frightened, were you? Uh, um, overwhelmed. But overwhelmed. Pleasantly overwhelmed, yes. Welcome to you, Serena. Thanks, Julia. Hello, Kate. Hi. How's it going? I'm good, thank you. First concert? Um, 1984, uh, um, Melbourne Showgrounds, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. Oh. I, I was only 13. You are only 13. And I took a bus all the way from Corrow in New South Wales to Melbourne. With my friend Danielle Griffin. Hello, Danielle. That's commitment, Kate. Mm -hmm. Oh, how marvellous. Mm. And hello, Andy. Hello, Julia. How are you? I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> you might be less excited when you tell us your first concert. What was oh, it? Oh, no way. It was the same year as Serena, 94. I was on my daddy's shoulders. And it was one of the Wiggles' first concerts. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting to exhale. Um, that anyway, that one. <laughs> Number eight. A B C D E F G. Uh, the greatest love of all is having it to me. Number nine. How will I know if he really loves me? Oh. And number ten. Um, I'll always love you. And then number eleven. Cause I'm saving all my love for you. Stunning. 
Now, Hayley, you're obviously a big fan. Uh, a little bit, yeah. A little bit of a fan. <laughs> so, were you one of those kids that, well, I mean, I would have been singing it to a hairbrush because I can't sing, but you would have been going, I can do this! <laughs> I, were I you? was trying. I was trying to do it. I mean, she's ridiculously amazing. She was ridiculously so amazing. So, I tried. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Hayley doing well on a whole lot of facts. <laughs> Thank you. Norman. Oh dear. Well, we can just move on to the next. No, not segment. at all. Not at all. Because some people sing and some people talk. It's it's open. We hopefully one day someone will mime. Who knows? Um, Norman, we're delighted with your topic. If I could just share it with everybody, Norman's topic tonight is band names related to the phallus or phallus-related activities. <laughs> yeah. Wow, there's a whole <laughs> yeah. PhD in that. So, Norman, your time starts now. OK, I was uh, lying in the hotel, uh, lying naked in my hotel room. Maybe you don't need this information. A couple of nights ago, thinking what I was going to talk about, and suddenly I had the idea that there were lots of bands that are named after the Willie, as we call it in Scotland, or... Anyway, um, so I'm going to start with an Australian one, the Hard Ones. Of course. Look at them. <laughs> Uh, and then we have the British punk rock ones, the Sex Pistols, uh, the Buzzcocks, the Members, the, um, the Vibrators. Related to that one, we have Steely Dan, because they, they were named after a mechanical dildo, in, uh, which was uh, uh, someone, I think, well, was used in the uh, Naked Lunch, the William Burroughs novel. Uh, strokes. <laughs> them. Uh, my friends, the Vaselines, you could have them too, couldn't you? Um, and then, I, I'm hoping you're going to do this soon because the, the next one I thought of was the Circle Jerks, which... <laughs> oh, oh, we love the Circle Jerks! Oh! of transvestite miners, our teams are digging in their heels. <laughs> Thank you. Orchestra, hit it! <laughs> Hands on buzzers, or if you prefer to look a little silly, on your nose. The questions begin... Now. Name the bands who released these debut albums. Appetite for Destruction. Guns N' Roses. Correct, Norman. Thank you. Licence to Ill. Yes. The Beastie Boys. Correct, my darling. Which Neil Young song does the band name Powderfinger come from? Uh, uh, Powderfinger. Oh, Jesus, yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, where were you? I've just got his autobiography and I haven't got to that bit yet. <laughs> Which band takes its name from a British unemployment benefit form? UB40. Correct. Signed many of those myself back in the day. <laughs> did you really? No, I did, yeah. Wow. That's, why, that's why I know that one. That's all, yeah. yeah. Good on you in a hard time. Oh, yeah. I know. Which band took their name from a book by Aldous Huxley? Mm. The Doors. 
Correct. You're a literary freak as well. The Doors. Yeah, The Doors of Perception was the book. Yep. Correct. Which of the following are not death metal bands? Vomitorial corpulence, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram and hologram. Or, if you're stuck in the 20th century like I am, the Rockwiz website. We leave you with a quote from Axl Rose of Guns N' Roses who once said, I'm not God, but if I were God, three quarters of you would be girls and the rest of you would be pizza and beer. <laughs> Classy. To take us out tonight, Hayley, Norman and the Bull Sisters are performing a West Indies folk song recorded and modified by the Kingston Trio and Johnny Cash, but most famously by the Beach Boys. And remember, if you can say, it's a broad brick moonlit nick to nick, you're right, you can. Good night. Or as it's known in Japan, 88 million yen super music fun explosion. <laughs> Teams, get ready to ID these riffs. Riff <laughs> number one. Peter Gabriel Sledgehammer. Well done, Mrs. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Riff number two. Yes. That's the way I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. By Casey and the Sunshine oh. Band. Four points to you, my friend. 
Number three. confidence in your buzzing I find extremely attractive. <laughs> what do you think it might be? I think after Norman's story that was uh, Victoria by The Kinks. I love you with every part of my being. You are absolutely correct! <laughs> Riff numéro 4. of clue, yes. Oh, oh, I can't remember the song. Is it Nene Cherry? It is Nene oh. Cherry. Excellent. And yeah. the song is, I don't know. Yeah, I know. Oh. There was so many and Could they all... go to the other side. What sort of stance? Buffalo. Buffalo, fantastic. Oh. Excellent. Bye, was... Bob Dylan sang, I used to care, but things have changed. I still care. Have the scores changed?